Welcome to the She Force Show. I'm your host, Amy Carlson. Another segment in our myth busting series related to health and well being. Some of these things that have just become almost a, a completely acceptable way of looking at things. And yet I am poking holes in these ideas. And today, the idea is about multigrain. I'm calling this the multigrain mashup. So typically when we see things that have that word multigrain, I don't know about you, but I got in the mindset of, oh, more is better. There's more of all of these things that are supposed to be natural and good for me. And they're all put into one product that's got to be the thing I'm going for. And so I ate like this for quite a while. And my history with digestive issues with, uh, you know, kind of like low grade stomach pain for years, just thinking, you know, how it comes on slowly and then you get used to it and then it increases a bit, but again, it's slowly. And so you get used to it. And then you kind of think, oh, this is how life is. And once I did the cleanse, which is from the book, The Plan by my mentor, Lynn Janae Resitas, everything reset, my whole digestive system reset. And then I realized that that didn't have to be a way of life. So one of the things that I have noticed and that I would love to share with you in case this could be something that is helpful for you and your health journey. Please, 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 from this moment forward, when you see something labeled as multigrain, unless you know, unless you have had an experience with each one of those grains, and maybe this could be something that's not just about grains, but this is a big one, the grain family. If you know that each one of those grains listed on the ingredient list works for you and you've done your research, collected your data to make sure that individually, each one of those things, the quinoa, the millet, the wheat, the flax that, you know, it's on and on. So it's not just grains. They also add seeds in there. If you know that each one of those works individually in your chemistry, you may want to try it out. But here's the other thing. Combinations matter. So maybe the you have no problem with having something with wheat in it. But what you might not know is that this combination of wheat and flax or wheat and quinoa or wheat and millet or wheat and amaranth doesn't work for you. Then you are going to eat that product, that multigrain product, and chances are uh, you know, we, we get a loaf of it because I'm thinking of like bread or it can be some kind of a cereal and there it is multigrain. And you think I should have more of this. The word multi just makes us think of more. Maybe I should have it every day. Maybe I should have it with more than one meal. And so we eat more and more and more of this. And we don't take a break from it, like having a day off in between and we wonder what's going on. You know, things start to change digestively. However, that shows up for you. You might start to get aches and pains and joints. You might not sleep as well. You might get headaches. There's a variety of ways that your body is telling you that one thing or a combination of things is not working with your chemistry. And then ultimately what this leads to is weight gain and dis-ease in your body because it just can't keep up with it. So my suggestion to you with these multigrain type things, 
be willing to experiment. As you know, I'm a big advocate for being your own scientist. Put on your little lab coat and get your little notebook or utilize my book called Energize Your Life, where you can keep track of, it's got daily tracking, where you can keep track of what you eat and how you feel and how your sleep is and your energy levels and all of that to see if each one of these individual ingredients in your favorite multigrain item works for you when it's just eaten on its own. So you could, you could have that grain with something else, you know, like with your salad, with your soup, with your whatever, but keep it separate from other grains or seeds and make sure that each one of those individual items in your multigrain product actually agrees with your system. And then if you find one or two of them that are kind of little red flags, like, oh, that didn't quite work, then you know that if you have that every day or you have that in combination with other things that might also cause some inflammation, that's basically what it what's happening in your body, then you are not going to want to purchase that multigrain thing. And especially you're not going to want to eat that every day. Maybe it's a, a rare occasional thing. Maybe every once in a while, it's kind of like a treat, but you know that you're going to have some digestive issue with it. It's just not worth it. So please pay attention to anytime you see a label of multigrain. And this is also with, uh, I saw it at Costco the other day. This is something I would have purchased in the past. I would have completely just grabbed this up and thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be great. I'm going to put this in my soups or on top of my salads. It was this, you know, Costco size bag, huge, that had all of these different seeds and grains and it, different spices on it. And it was this, it was this multi, I forget what they called it, but it was basically like your multi-grain version of a, of a topping. And I, I picked it up. And now I know, look at all the ingredients. I saw all of these things, all of which have been, again, put in under this general category of healthy. These things are all healthy. Well, they're not healthy for you if they don't work with your chemistry. And how will you know unless you do a little investigating with each of those things individually? So I'm looking at this package. I'm, I'm thinking, my, my head, I'm going, oh my gosh. In the past, I would have picked this up, not given it a second thought. But this time I looked at to see how many different things were in there. And some of those ingredients I knew just don't work for my system. And some of them I knew don't work in combination together because I've got that information now. I've done the, the uh, playful scientific data collection with myself to know that. And the other hidden culprit there was sodium all of these supposedly healthy things mixed in with a few, mm, yes, some preservative type things, but also like, what the heck is that ingredient they added there? And the sodium level was high. So be curious when you see that label that makes you just want to reach for it because something in your brain is going off like, oh yes, I've seen so many commercials that say all of this is good. Wait a minute. Before you put it in your cart, before you put it in your body, take a look at the ingredients. Ask yourself if you've done the research to know if that thing that is, they've mixed it all together. Is that actually a good combination for you? And pay attention to what they list for spices. Pay attention to what they list for preservatives. There's something called yeast extract as well that is highly inflammatory to most people's bodies. Look for things like that. Look for something that you're like, what is this? And then go Google it. So before you purchase it, Google it to see some of these additives are the very things that really cause a big stir in our digestive system and it's just not worth it. And then pay attention to the sodium. There's my soapbox for this episode about the multigrain myth 
the multigrain mashup. It can just create a whole mashup in your digestive system and leave you feeling bloated, constipated, however it shows up for you that your body says this does not work. And then just work individually with some of those things. Yes, some of those individual ingredients can be fabulous for your system, for your chemistry, for your nutrition, and use them individually or maybe find little combinations. But putting 10 of these things together in most cases does not work for most people. There you have it. If you have any questions that you want me to address in another episode of this myth busting series, please let me know. And of course, we go into detail in all of this in my program called Nourish You, which is part library, part laboratory, and all about lifestyle for sustainable health and well being. Thanks for joining. Until next time.